What's going on? Greenwood Stock Trading. It's been a while. We are looking at levels, strategy, sympathy, sectors, big moves. So, oh, what are the low? One, one of the, one of the main lessons that we learned this week was sticking to your game plan, having a plan and sticking to it. So. You lose when you don't have a game plan, and you lose when you have one and you don't stick to it. So what are we known for? We're known for big moves, volatility, um, especially when it comes to earnings, sell-off. I, I call it the sell-algo monster, So, and I'll show you what that looks like. The sell-algo monster looks like this. <laughs> it looks like this. So you can see it on Netflix. Go back, see it on Netflix twice, a couple of times. You can see it on Facebook. You can see the same monster, Upstart. You can you can see it, but it comes when there's a surprise to the downside. And as we know, stocks fall a lot harder and faster than they do rise. Okay, so whenever you're looking to get the most volatile moves. Again, the biggest people, the biggest investors, uh, the Drunken Millers, the Paul Tudor Joneses, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera, the, uh, the Michael Burries, all of these people made the, the, the John Paulsons, all of these people made their fortunes uh, when it came to bear market. So you have to be on the right side. We got, we got something called perma bears. They, they call them perma bears when you're, when you're only looking at, I'm, I'm sorry, perma bull. When you're only looking at the bullish side, you have to be on both sides of the trade. So uh, we're going to show you how we built that, the theory and the position for the trade, because it starts, it starts with some steps, some fundamentals. This started, this started back last earnings season, so three or four months ago, a whole quarter ago, when we knew inflation was going to add selling pressure pressure on the market period okay so again what are we looking at extremely challenging russia has exacerbated inflationary pressures let's let's read this uh they exacerbated uh, inflationary pressures uh let's let's see let's see about looking at the conference call See if we can see some articles that are supporting this, um, and see what the CEO, see what she had to say about this. So, again, we're looking at we're we're looking at Ross now. Keep in mind, TJ Maxx reported good, and they beat, and they went up. Okay, so thirteen weeks. That's that's uh, uh, four months. Three months. Um, you're looking at what's the most important? Decline seven percent on top of a thirteen percent gain in the first quarter. So we go from up thirteen percent to down seven seven percent. Barbara Rentler, CEO, we are disappointed with our lower than expected first quarter results, following a stronger than planned start in the early period. Okay. What is the problem? COVID restrictions, Russia, Ukraine, inflation. This is what we predicted. This, this is what we predicted beforehand. Uh, we knew that inflation, we bet against all these same companies and they bounced because inflation hadn't hit the bottom line yet. So let's, let's, let's go back and see how we built this position in our mind. First off, Walmart. And again, we, we called it, we talked about this on the Discord. Uh, we talked about Walmart being telling the story. I said it before. I said Walmart earnings are falling short due, due to rising gas and food equals inflation. Okay. I said retail could get ugly. Okay. Then I continue to say Walmart could tell the story. So, Again, Target missed and sold completely off again. I said Walmart, Walmart is telling the story. 
Walmart told the story, inflationary margins. So we've been talking about this. Join our group if you if you if you need um, if you need a community. Join our group. We talk about this. We got puts in Foot Locker it's retail. We got puts in Coles it's retail. We got puts in Ross and retail. Okay, so you, you talk about the giants now. Uh, you may say uh, TJ Maxx. You may say TJ Maxx didn't didn't sell off right. But look look look. TJ Maxx has an online presence. Ross doesn't have an online presence. That's what me and my friend were talking about. This is why I started not to even put the play on Ross was because TJ Maxx did so well and they're in the same sector. Okay. But you have to understand different companies, different CEOs, different quality of management is going to make a difference. All right. So we got this huge sell off. Uh, we got 70, $70 puts. Okay, so let's look and see if we can get down. Uh, even in the 50s would be good because right now we have, right now we have uh, $70 puts. Okay, so $70 puts right now, uh, getting all the way in the money, it closed at $92, uh, was 480. So right now we would be, we would be up on $480. Okay. But hopefully we, it can sell off more, and then we can get each each dollar each, each dollar past um, each dollar past seventy. We have no theta, which means there's no time decay. So once we get here, then we get, we get a hundred dollars for every dollar that it moves. All right, but again, Target, Walmart told us what Target would do. All right, Target sells off, and we turn. You could have turned ten cent into nine dollars per contract. Okay, so again, you can't buy these dips. You have to understand now. This, like I said, this goes back months ago when we thought inflation was going to hit. Everything bottomed out, bounced, ran. Now we're back. Okay, so spy. Let's talk about spy levels. It looks like. We got really defined levels, all right. It what it looks like is that 385 is the level that they're going to try to defend uh, at some point. Okay, so with with today being a being a, a, a green day with volume, we may get a we may get a bounce, but we may get another another retrace. Okay, especially if these earnings continue to be bad. Uh, it looks like they already. They're already running up the uh, spy uh, to bounce. So again, uh, one of our strategies is to always hold until the last red candle is taken out. Once this red, once this last big red candle gets taken out, then we can possibly think about getting long. But we knew again. We said this in the Discord. Look at this range. I said that. I said that the uh, that the chart was saying 396 when it was 407, but it was really saying 380s. And we got receipts. We got receipts. We got receipts. Um, we talked about spy 403. Okay, we we're talking about this at 403, and then. I said the chart said 396 to 398. Okay, this is when SPY was at 405. So it was a quick, easy 10-point move from from here, from four, from 405. I was predicting 396. We went to 380s, uh, 3, 390, 390 to be exact. So again, we may trade in this range for a while. Look, look at look at what it did the last time. It broke down below, but every time we I mean, we we can we can even sell off uh, tomorrow into another red day down here in the 370. So, but again, this is a key level. If we get below this level, understand that they want to fake you out. So if it breaks down below this channel, you should probably be buying here if 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 the move is drastic enough, and then you can get a nice move. But 
again, I don't know if you trade uh, NQ, uh, what futures, the E-minis. Uh, look at this. The E-minis are not. They, they, they go 24-7. Okay. So, again, look at this. It's sell-off. We're trying to bounce. We don't know if we are. ES is another S&P futures. So, we'll, like I said, we'll see if, if we end up opening higher tomorrow. But, again, it's only one article away. All right. If um, if the S&P sells off, the Dow sells off, then we know what happens next. We know that we, we get in a full-blown recession, and there's nothing that's really going to stop that. So Dow, Dow, told, Dow said that this is as low as we want to go. But if we open up inside, if we open up inside this, this candlestick, let's go to the hourly. We open up inside this candlestick, inside this range, then we can we can go lower. So, again, stick to your strategy. Our strategy is looking at what what sectors are weak and capitalizing. All right. So, again, we try. We we TJ Maxx told us every company is not the same, but Target, Walmart, um, and now Ross is saying, hey. Retail could be in trouble because of inflation, and then Foot Locker we got puts on too. So we'll see if uh, Foot Locker can get to twenty dollars. FL, and yeah, I mean we we, we see that uh, we got we got the sell algo monster last time from forty to twenty seven. It was a huge options hit, and I mean we can get down to the twenties easily. Easily, I mean with this earnings. So. Uh, like, share, subscribe, ask any question, bring with stock trading at gmail.com, and we will see you on the next video.